God has something bigger in store for you. John 11, you know, they came to that tomb. Lazarus was dead. You know, how many days? Three days? Four days? Stinking? Stinking? Can anything happen? But Jesus says, I am the resurrection and the life. Hallelujah. One word from Jesus can turn your situation around. Amen. And that one word is here this morning. Hallelujah. Jesus is speaking to your situation and saying, I am the resurrection and the life. Whatever is dead in your life, I will bring forth to life in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. God can turn things around. What was impossible yesterday is possible today. Tomorrow at this time, there's a turnaround. Get prepared for an elevation. Hallelujah. Even if you look at that woman caught in adultery, what was Jesus doing? Hey, have all your, those who wanted to condemn you left. What was Jesus doing? He was writing on the sand. And I believe Jesus was writing something significant. Jesus was writing a new chapter in her life. Hallelujah. When everybody rejected her, here was Jesus writing something on the sand. A new chapter began in that lady's life. Hallelujah. Everyone called her names. Adultra. Called her name after name. Probably the ones who abused her were also there. They also departed. But Jesus began something new in her life. Hallelujah. A new chapter was written in her life. That's what happens. Grace interrupts in your most horrible situation hallelujah thank god for grace and grace is represented in the person of jesus amen grace stepped in and turned around her life and god wants to bring you into such a situation you know god turned around some things for me we're going through some challenges in our workplace you know business is quite challenging all of you know we were waiting on God some time back. We had a 30-day fasting and prayer. And during those days, whoever came here experienced some great time together. But at the same time, the kingdom of darkness was also stirred because we were in prayer. First time the church is doing a 30-day fast and prayer. Many things were happening in many people's life, correct? The attack of the enemy was real. One thing happened in my place back home. My dad and mom, they're quite old, and uh, my, mom, my dad is hard of hearing, and my mom has a difficulty in walking. They're staying in a secluded place. Some thieves broke into our place. They cut open the gate, and they came to the door, and they began to open the door. And you know, God is so good. As they began to open the door, my mom heard a knock, you know, something like somebody working on something. And she just woke up at 2.30 in the night. We were, you know, having the prayer here. 2.30 in the night, she woke up and she saw a man standing with, uh, you know, covered in, draped in a, in a shawl. And then she, I mean, I, if I was in her place, I would have frozen there, mom. But mom took courage and, you know, said, you know, thief, thief, and switched on all the lights and that guy just fled. Things begin to happen. My mom said, hey, God protects us. You know, his protection is on our lives every moment. Amen. Yeah. Hallelujah. Whether you see it or not. And a great protection she experienced. The next day, you know, we were at work here. And after a long time, hallelujah, glory to God. We won a nice order for 1,000 ACs in my in our workplace. Praise God. And we were celebrating. Hallelujah. When the first AC was being installed, that villa caught fire. There was an explosion. And that sheikh came and said, okay, this is going to be a trouble for us. And they, we were asked to meet them because we, they wanted to, you know, sue us and, you know, put us behind bars. So I called some of us, you know, called uh, Cyrus and we went to that place to meet the sheikh. You know, imagine a villa, one of the altanis and, you know, it's caught fire and so I prayed and said, God, you have to turn the situation around. I was so excited that I won a 1,000 split AC order worth 2 million. And I was celebrating. And Lord, the very first AC our team went to install, there was a fire in that place. Lord, I don't know what's happening in, in my life. But I believe you can turn it around. So as we went to meet that sheikh, hallelujah. You know what the sheikh said? Oh, glory to God. The sheikh said, it's okay. Continue your work. You just give us a letter stating that this was a mistake from one of the guys. And we gave that letter and the work continues. Hallelujah. And he said, I will give you some more orders in the days to come. Praise God. A God who can turn situations around. I'm talking about my business. If I'm talking about my business, God can transform your situation. What is your situation this morning? What is your situation this morning? The God who worked in my life is able to do that in your life. Why am I saying that? Psalm 18:28 says, The Lord who keeps our lamp burning he can turn your darkness to light hallelujah he keeps your lamp burning but you got to learn to praise God before that breakthrough I don't know what is staring at you some of 
at some of you death is staring but you got to say hey death you've been defeated at the cross Amen. christ disarmed principalities and powers when he died on the cross you got to speak and say hey devil you can't have me you can't have my children devil you can't have my business devil you can't have my finances you got to focus on jesus that's what you know the bible says in john 21 verse 25 many other things that jesus did many things he did whatever he did it won't fit into the books if they were written hallelujah so many things that jesus did if all were written in the books all the books piled up in this world it's not enough to describe what jesus did why am i saying that hallelujah i'll tell you to the the key thing i'll bring you to the key thing in john 18:3 jesus comes into that garden of gethsemane you know they're ready to arrest jesus and judas says the one i kiss is the one who's who's who should be arrested and so judas comes with how many men with a cohort with a detachment of troops 600 men to uh, you know arrest one man jesus think about it 600 what did they come with they came with torches lanterns you know st staves swords all this to arrest one man you know judas must have come to know of the power of jesus because for three years three and a half years judas has been seeing the power of jesus correct one touch one speech one you know touch on people people were all healed and delivered amen so here is judas bringing a cohort of soldiers matthew 26 says a multitude of soldiers came enormous massive so many to arrest one man because judas knew the power of this one man hallelujah jesus was known for his supernatural power miracles occurred one after the other so here you are jesus coming in and then this question hey we are looking for we are looking for jesus and jesus says this whom are you seeking and they say we are looking for jesus of nazareth look at jesus response he doesn't say i am jesus of nazareth look at these words very powerful if you miss everything don't miss this three words he says i am he hallelujah i am he and when he said i am he 600 men fell backwards on their ground hallelujah look at the power amen with three words i am he the same word not i am healed i am he h-e -E. i am he the very word spoken to moses moses asked god god what will i tell the israelites when they ask me who who sent who you know who sent you and god says say i am has sent you he doesn't say Jesus or, you know, Yehovah or he says, I am has sent you the self-existent one. Hallelujah. The great I am is here. And the staggering words of Jesus. Hallelujah. He knocked the soldiers off their feet. It was as if a, a bomb was detonated. 600 men fallen backwards. Think about it. By just three words. I am he. Hallelujah. The Greek word is ego my, which means God is unveiling his majesty. Hallelujah. In this time of turnaround, believe. In your situation, Jesus appears and says, I am he. Hallelujah. When he says, I am he, he's unveiling his majesty. Oh, think about it. Hey, I love it. He's unveiling his majesty by that one statement. And it manifested so much of glory that 600 men had to just fall backwards. Think about it. Three words. I am he. And the same God is speaking to your situation today and saying, hey, I am the God who meets your need. I am he who provided in that, in that wilderness. Amen. I am he who will rescue you. Hallelujah. He will turn, you, he turn your situation around. And the soldiers, armed, dangerous, just fell backward with these three words. A blast of power. They stumbled, the Bible says. They stumbled and fell backwards. Just by three words. Jesus unveiled his majesty. Was it difficult for him? The Bible says he could have called 12 legions of angels, 72,000 angels, and they could have come and protected him and rescued him. But Jesus willingly gave himself up. He made a choice because he had you in mind. Oh, isn't it wonderful? He had you in mind. He had you and me in mind. Hallelujah. Jesus thought about us when he went to the cross. Praise God. And he has power beyond your imagination. Praise God. And the same power that worked in Jesus' life is available for you and me today. Touch somebody and say the same power, same power. that operated in Jesus is inside of me the same holy spirit power operates in you the same holy spirit power operates in me it operates in all of us the same holy spirit power i'm telling you you are a threat to the devil's domain hallelujah touch somebody and say you're a threat 
subject to the devil's domain. Why? Because John 1.5 says, light shines in darkness. You know, your situation might be very dark. Very, very dark. So many testimonies we had of, you know, uh, IDs not being renewed. I'm telling you, if anyone has that situation in these days, believe that light will shine in that dark season. Amen. His light will shine. Amen. And the, where the word of the king is, there is power. Ecclesiastes 8, 4 says, wherever the word of king is, there is power. And here we are kings and priests unto our God. Revelation 1, 6 says, we are kings and priests unto our God. So where the word of the king is, there is power. Whatever you speak, you will see it manifest in your life. Come on, declare it. You will see healing. You will see deliverance. You will see a divine turnaround in the month of April. If God did it for Moses, God can do it for you. If God did it for Peter, he can do it in your life. Amen. Hallelujah. God turned situations around. Mordecai's life, God changed around. What is that mountain before you? Mark 11 says, interesting. You know, the disciples came. They saw, they're walking with Jesus. Jesus cursed that victory. Hey, there's no fruit here. He cursed it. Nothing happened. They went away. And Jesus is telling disciples, hey, when, I, when you come to prayer, whatever you ask in prayer, believe that you receive. Speak to the mountain. What is the mountain that you see today standing before you? Speak to that mountain. It will move in Jesus' name. Amen. Death will move in Jesus' name. Depression will move in Jesus' name. Speak to that mountain. Fear will move in Jesus' name. Guilt will move in Jesus' name. Poverty will move in Jesus' name. I don't know how, but it will happen in Jesus' name. So whatever is your mountain, speak to that mountain in Jesus' name. Hey, mountain, get out of my may way in Jesus' name. Begin to speak and communicate because you will see victory in your life. You will see a turnaround when you speak it. Amen. And then the disciples came with Jesus Mark 11, 20-24. That victory that was cursed, hallelujah, you saw it had withered away. It took some time. Maybe there are some people here saying, hey, I'm not seeing anything in your work. Hey, don't worry. When you have prayed, God is at work. Amen. God is already at work in your life. And I want to close with this. In 1 Samuel chapter 30, the Amalekites attack Ziklag. David is there. And in 1 Samuel 30, verse 6, David does something. You know, they have captured the Amalekites. You know, the same people who belonged to Haman, you know, Haman that I talked about, who wanted to hang Mordecai, Haman the Agagite, who were part of the Amalekites. The Amalekites hated the Israelites. Who were the Amalekites? They were descendants of Esau. They always hated, always at war with Israelites. You remember the battle in Exodus 17. As long as Moses lifted his hands, there was victory for the Israelites. As long as Aaron and her you know, lifted Moses' hands. There was victory for the Israelites. Amalekites always pursued the Israelites. And 1 Samuel 30 verse 6, I liked what happened. The Amalekites came. They wanted to finish off. They took David's two wives. They captured, plundered that city. But what did David do? Was he discouraged? The Bible says David strengthened himself. You know, David was greatly distressed. For the people spoke of stoning him. Hey, what kind of a leader are you? People have taken everything away. They've plundered us. They've grieved us. All our sons and daughters are taken away. But David strengthened himself in the Lord his God. In April, God wants you to strengthen yourself in the Lord your God. Amen. How do you strengthen yourself? By praying in tongues. By spending time with the word. By meditating on his word. Spending time corporately in prayer. I'm telling you, when you do these things, you are strengthen, strengthening yourself in the Lord your God. And in 1 Samuel 22, something interesting happens. 1 Samuel 22, verse 1 to 3. You know, David was at the lowest point of his life. He comes into a cave called Adullam. Who was pursuing him? Saul was pursuing David. Wanted to kill him and finish him. And David was hiding in this cave called Adullam. Adullam, you know, says... It means the lowest point. The lowest point. And everyone who was... Look at this. You know, when you go through a season of discouragement and disappointment, something will happen in your life. Touch somebody and say, hey, something will happen in your life. What is that something? Get ready. Something will happen in your life. David was at the lowest point of his life, in that cave, hiding from Saul. But what happened? Look up. And everyone who was in distress, everyone who were in debt, everyone who had discontent gathered to him. So he became a captain over them. And there were about 400 men with him. Hallelujah. And these 400 men go on to become the mighty men of David who fought many battles. Hallelujah. Are there people who are discontent, depressed, 
disappointed, living in debt around you. Probably you're going through that yourself and saying, oh, I myself am, you know, bogged down by these things. I'm broke. I'm busted. You know, I'm in this situation. God wants to use you to touch many lives. Touch your neighbor and say, God wants to use me in this season. In my season of brokenness, God wants to use me. Hallelujah. Amen. Believe, believe, believe. God wants to use me. People who are in debt, people who are in distress, people who are in discontent came and gather around David. People will gather around you in this season in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. All those who are discontent, in debt, in distress will gather around you. Don't run away and flee. Oh, pastor, so many people are you know, coming around me. Don't worry. You stand. Strengthen yourself in the Lord your God. Amen. He will bring a divine turnaround in your life. A divine turnaround in your situation. Amen. What is impossible with man is possible with God. One word from Jesus. That's why the disciples look at it and say, hey, haven't everybody left? Everyone for so and fled. And then when some of them looked at him and said, hey, haven't you left? I think Peter it was. He said, God, you have the words of life. You know, Jesus has the words of life. Everyone might disappoint you. Your boss might disappoint you. Teachers might disappoint you. Authority may have crushed you. But Jesus has the words of life. Come to Jesus. Strengthen yourself like David. And what happened? At the lowest point of his life, Adulam, what happened? The next verse. Then David went from there to Mizpah. Touch somebody and say Mizpah. You know, when you study the Bible, it's important to know the meanings of things. Adulam, lowest place. Mizpah, lofty place. Mizpah, lofty place. Touch somebody and say Mizpah, lofty place. Touch somebody and say Mizpah, lofty place. You know what is lofty? Very high. Very high. And God wants to lift some of you from the lowest place of your adulams to a mispa. Hallelujah. Your lowest points of your life to a great point in Jesus' name. Amen. I don't know what you're going through sitting here, but I have good news for you. From your adulams, from your point of death and disaster, He wants to take you to your lofty place of mispa. Hallelujah. From Adulam to Mizpah, he experienced God. Our God can turn any situation around. He can turn anything around. Turnarounds re reveal. You know, this is what I read. Turnarounds reveal our miraculous savior to a messed up world. Praise God. And I want to close with this. I talked about Jabez. He called on the God of Israel. And this is what Jabez asked. God, that you would bless me. You would enlarge me. Your hand would be with me. And that you would keep me from evil. You know what's something important about the hand of God? The hand of God is a place of honor. You know in Genesis 35 verse 18, Rachel was about to give birth. She was about to die. So as the child was birthed, she died. And she calls, you know, before she dies, she calls that son she was birthed in pain as Benoni. Tell somebody Benoni. You know what Benoni means? The son of my sorrow. Just like Jabez, who was called sorrow or pain. Benoni, that was the name given. But the father, thank God for the father. Thank God for fathers. Hallelujah. Thank God for fathers. What did the father say? But the father called his name Benjamin. Hallelujah. You know what Benjamin means? Son of my right hand. Hallelujah. Son of sorrow, the mother called him. The father says, son of my right hand. Where is Jesus seated? right hand of God. Where is Jesus seated? The right hand of God. What is special about the right hand of God? It's a place of honor. Hallelujah. God wants to lift some of you to a place of honor. God wants to lift you from your adulams to a lofty place called Mizpah. Amen. Amen. Shout an amen if you believe it. God wants to lift you from your place of sorrow. Turn your situation around from that depressed, destitute situation to a lofty place of honor. Amen. You might be asking God, oh God, I'm here in this nation. I want to leave, oh God. But tomorrow at this time, don't leave. Don't leave. Tomorrow at this time, I will do a miracle in your life. Hey, tomorrow at this time, you will see something. Tomorrow through this month of April, you'll see something significant in your life. From Adulams, you will be lifted to Mizpah. God asks an elderly couple, ready to retirement, to have a baby. Abraham and Sarah. Correct? 75 years old, ready to retire. Have a baby. God does it. Did God do it? Can God, can God break off break barrenness in your life? Can he do it? He will. What is impossible with man is possible with God. He instructs a str you know, stuttering shepherd and speaks to him and delivers him, 
delivers an entire nation Moses stammering stuttering God I can't speak come on bring Aaron but God uses him God uses him to deliver an entire nation can he do it for you he told an ordinary boy on a hillside tending sheep tending sheep to go and kill a goliath can he do it for you can he defeat the goliaths in your life can he do it come on respond church if he used david to leave sheep and kill a giant you are a giant slayer hallelujah he chose a teenage girl mary was a teenage girl right to carry the savior of the world hallelujah god can use an ordinary man and woman like you to do great things for his glory come on stand to your feet hallelujah god is in the house god is in the house touch somebody and say god is in the house hallelujah oh we praise you jesus thank you god that april come on worship team as we worship god let's worship god hallelujah we'll sing that song we give you glory hallelujah Oh Jesus thank you come on turn just begin to talk to God and say God I just thank you God I just thank you God that you're going to turn my situation around you're going to turn me from Adullam oh God to Mispa from that depressing place Lord in that cave of disappointment oh God from that cave Lord of failure you're taking me oh God to a lofty place oh God a place of honor oh God come on lift your voice come on begin to talk to God God Lord April is a month of divine turn around oh God you're turning around my situation you're turning around my marriage you're turning around my relationships oh god you're turning around my job situation oh god lord edicts have been written oh god but that the edict is going to be rewritten oh god for my sake oh god from adulam you're taking me to misma oh god from lord from the from the lost place to a lofty place in jesus name oh god hallelujah i give you glory oh master i give you praise oh god you are able oh god to rescue me jesus hallelujah 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 come and talk to god talk to god hallelujah talk to god talk to god lord i thank you i thank you by faith i praise you even before i can see a breakthrough i praise you oh god i praise you like peter i look at you oh god i'm going to do a supernatural thing oh god i'm going to walk on the water i'm going to step out of the boat oh god and believe you for great things lord a divine turn around oh god a divine turn around in jesus name oh god hallelujah 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 because you saved me rescue me just a moment there set me free that saved me and rescue me just a moment there set me free I give you glory glory Turn around. God is saying, turn around. Do you worship God like this? Come on, I see only two men standing right behind that, worshiping God. Come on, if you have an issue with your leg, believe God that God can bring supernatural healing. If you're physically not well, it's okay. But if you can worship God, please worship God. Come on, I'm sure you can, you know, just give God glory in this place because He rescued you. Hallelujah. He delivered you. Come on, you can do a jump like this. Hallelujah.
oh God. Thank you, God. Thank you, God, that many things are being reversed this morning, oh God. The opposite is going to occur, oh God. There may have been, Lord, destruction, disappointment, failure, loss, grieving. But Lord, thank you that in the month of April, Lord, right from this day forth till the end, we're going to see a reverse, oh God. The opposite is going to occur, oh God. Lord, from fruit, from barrenness to fruitfulness, oh God. From failure to victory, oh God. From sadness to joy, oh God. Hallelujah. Oh, we give you glory, oh Master. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. Thank you, Lord. Oh, we thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Master. You have to my morning into dancing. You have to my sorrow into joy. You have to my morning into dancing. You have to my sorrow into light is breaking through my night of God your light of God is breaking through my situation of God I believe a God that your powerful light of God Jesus when you stepped in a God into that garden of Gethsemane Lord in that cave of disappointment fail a Lord thank you Lord when you stepped in a God 600 men fell backwards of God when you said three words of God I am he the great I am that I am is here of God to bring deliverance of God to bring a massive turnaround in our lives of God the great I am of God we worship the great I am. We worship the great I am. The I am that I am, O oh God. I am He. Those words of God unveiled your majesty. Oh, fill that place, O oh God. Gethsemane was filled with your glory, O oh God. And thank you that you never gave up, O oh God. And thank you even from that day, O oh God, you never gave up on us, O oh God. You're sitting at the right hand of the Father making intercession for us. Lord, we pray that throughout this month and throughout this year, we will hold on to your promises that are yes and amen. Thank you that you're taking us, Lord, from our broken state, O oh God, taking us from our other arms, O oh God, taking us to a lofty place, O oh God, into a place of honor, God. You're turning our situation around. Thank you that you're a turnaround, God. We worship you, God. Like you did for Mordecai, you will do it for us. Four ordinary leprous men came into a camp. Tomorrow at this time, they heard these words from Elisha. Tomorrow at this time, you're doing a miracle. We believe, oh God, the miracles have begun. Supernaturally, you're doing things, oh God. We give you glory. We give you honor. We give you praise. In Jesus' name, amen. In the love of God the Father, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the sweet communion of the Holy Spirit, be with us as we walk in a season of turnaround. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you. Have a blessed week. Yeah, we'd like to encourage people to join the worship team. If you, if you, if you don't know how to play an instrument, you know, we have some uh, seasoned men here, seasoned men and women. You know, George can uh, help you with the vocals. Uh, Cyrus can help you with the guitar. Uh, Justin can help you with the keyboards and uh, Sam with the drums. So we'll, you know, if you're interested, please contact them. You might be a young person. Or